even with that, uh, <laughs> the same IBC will be expected to conduct uh, the referendum by the draft bill by Dr. Yeah. Kuro Okot of Third Way Alliance Kenya. If it gets to that, right now the score is 4-1. Four have adopted, well, four have rejected, one has uh, has approved it. That would be Wasangishu County. So, um, where does that leave us? Moranga, Kirinyaga, CIA, Moranga, Kirinyaga, because, because it's something yes. you spoke about during your explainer, yeah. Yvonne, and you talked about how in Pumuza Mzigo and its proponents have 90 days yeah. to try and get the requisite number from the counties. Yeah, from the counties. And uh, so far he's gotten one. And remember, in this whole process days. started so in July. Days. July, yes. days that, that, July 18th. 18th yes. Yeah, this is two months later. 60 days, I bet 30 days. Yep. And in 30 days, he needs to have done what? To 23 get 23, 23 counties. Right. And you look at the, at the trends now of the ones that Wanamunga, Uli Adabunga, Mkono, which is just for Singishu, and the ones who don't. What does that tell you? The, put the word handshake. Handshake. Right. Exactly. Because right. now those who seem to be proponents of the handshake are for the BBI, whose report you've not seen yet. Handshake we can't talk BBI. much about it. Handshake BBI. Yeah, the irony. Yeah, yeah, it's important. Yeah. I, I think it's such an irony that, that we say, you know, it's up against BBI. Mm -hmm. What we don't is BBI? Know. We, don't BBI know. Is. we don't know what the content of BBI yeah. is. Yeah. But what Dr. Ekuru Aokot and his team are facing is a political problem. And I wanted to ask uh, you this, uh, Linus, yes. because uh, you're a student of law. Well, a referendum is two things. So it's a legal process a and it is a political process. But it's largely a political process. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, so you put a bill through. How is he doing on both fronts? Let, let me talk about the political front. He's not doing very well with the political marketing of uh, the, uh, th this bill. Now, marketing it politically would have required him to pick an item, create a rallying slogan around the whole, the whole thing. Because right now, we just know Punguza Mizigo. What mm -hmm. about it? What, are the what is that one thing that should make a county pass the bill? Two, it's also the optics. Who is he with? We've been seeing him addressing press conferences after the fact. We saw him in Moranga with mm -hmm. a group of MCAs. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the vote had been lost. He needed to have worked on the political side of things because this is a political exercise. Now, on the legal side, Ekuru Aokot and his team did a fantastic job. And we acknowledged it here when the, the Punguza Mizigo bill uh, came out. It was a tidy job. They got the signatures um, uh, that, that they required. But also the propos pro proposal was looking like a very, very solid document. And it is a very solid uh, document. What he is running into in terms of challenges is politics, managing the politics. He needed an, a heavyweight to uh, go with him. Uh, look at these images. Who are those? Who is he with? But, but hasn't it also been polluted by the current politics? Because there's a sense in which uh, for, for, for a while it was seen as um, being propped up, even if they may not have been the originators, but being propped up by the Tanga Tanga wing of Jubilee. There's a sense in which even the, what happened in Wasin Gishu was interpreted as a sign that this bill probably would pass in counties that are more sympathetic to Tanga Tanga and would fall in, 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 in the other counties. And I think when you have a tag like that, I mean, he says he's independent, he doesn't have any leaning uh, in this current political uh, confrontation that we see from time to time. It is not good for him to be seen to be a protege, to be a stooge, if you like, or in any way associated with either side of this, uh, this conflict that is going on, because that then gives a bad name to his thing, so gives it a tag. Right. And once you get a tag in a highly polarized mm -hmm. thing like what we are seeing now, it, and he yeah. needed political it's, tact it's to manage that. Basically, it's not alive. Okay, well, yeah, he um, needed political tact to manage that, because a tag can be perception or reality. Right. Sometimes it can be thrown at you and said, oh, you are the project, candidate, project, project of yeah. so, so and so. It is how you shake off that tag that, ma that, that matters, which is why the, 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 the Wasingishu vote, where he won, where uh, Punguza Mizigo won, is now starting to look like uh, the, 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 the mark of Cain on the, on the forehead of, uh, <laughs> wow. of, of Punguza Mizigo. So it, it's not, I mean, look at, if Wasingisho passes it, then CIA would reject it. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be- because right. that then the argument that it is root of as Israel mm. ca- com- comes in. And then um, Muranga rejects it and then it's okay now that's the handshake. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Defeating uh, Punguza Punguza Mizigo. Yeah. I think uh, a Kuru Court needed a robust political management um, uh, center to just dry, drive this and drive it in the path that uh, he's been arguing, which is it's independent, it's about the content, it's not about the politics. That argument has not been made uh, very strongly and that is why he's losing because of right. the political look, look, look at the tagging yeah. also. Look right. at the tagging. The, there's this tagging that the BBI product, which probably is expected at the end of this month, is Ongeza Mzigo. Mm. Yeah? Well, uh, that the alliance is, is Punguza Mzigo. Mm. Look at even in situations where the county assembly will not vote against the Punguza Mizigo bill, it will be short circuited technically. Look at what happened in Kirinyaga County. Um, the person who was supposed to second it disappeared. And so the next time you can reintroduce that bill is after six, six months. months. By that It'll time, time the October 19th deadline would have been. So it was, was that in Kirinyaga? That is exactly yes. what happened in Kirinyaga. And you saw the altercation between uh, Dr. Kuro Okot and, and uh, Governor um, Waiguru. Yeah. And a lot of stuff came up. Yeah. So the, the politics the politics around the Punguza Mizigo will be the main challenge for right. these referendum And push. here's another thing that lawyers are also talking about uh, as we conclude. Some of the contents of it, that does it interfere with uh, the principles of natural justice, for example, the presumption of innocence. You know, he talks about uh, people being barred from office at the mere mention uh, within the auditor's report. Um, some talking about uh, overt discrimination corruption of women, ending, corruption ending in 30, uh, in, in 30 days, uh, perhaps being a little too prescriptive of what is supposed to be uh, an overall sort of supreme yeah. document. But, but that quite honestly, be, that's very attractive. Yeah, yeah it's um, attractive. that's very attractive. Well, but, well, but, but the problem with it yeah. is, eh, the, this, the, it is easy to say it, but to do it is a problem. The same way with mm. reducing the number of constituencies. Right. You see, everybody says, eh, Punguza. That is the problem. Right. Yeah. Mm. And, and then also, finally, when you look at the, the politics of it, you, you get the feeling those who are supporting BBI are saying Punguza Mizigo was brought in to scuttle BBI or right. to, you know, to spite BBI. And so get it out of the way. Make sure it, it doesn't go anywhere. Some even saying it is dead on arrival because they're saying, we, who are he? to go to BBI. Yes. Even then, they have not even read it. Even then, you yes. have not seen what that BBI. You don't even yeah. know what it is. Well, and, and we need to, uh, we, time, we are, we are yeah. finishing up now. And remember, there's the other one now, the Ugatuzi one, right. which yep. is being fronted by the by governance. governance yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised because some of the things that are in it are very will what be what end up one saying. and a one of these other ones. Right. And we'll see at some point a united front come. Maybe uh, BBI. Maybe BBI. Yeah. Let's just yeah. wait. Have you seen what the, some of the interesting yeah. things they're suggesting? Oh, yes. Sounds very similar to what they are But interesting. Interestingly, yeah. interestingly, there's a proposal to remove the ceiling for governors. Well, come hi, in. Villana, so, of course. Of course, it's a, it's a rival because the second term sort, governors. Yeah. End up here? Some of them <laughs> are asking and, to and end up. And did you notice they also are uh, talking about um, nice ways of removing the deputy? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in all this, in all this, Joe, everybody is forgetting the third option. Which is? Which is the country actually going to the next elections yes. under the current yeah, constitution. Yes. Yeah. Well, a lot to talk about, a lot to discuss, but we need to take this home. This time